Gamers, it's over. A button? More like A. I'm 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 typing here. I can type a whole honking hashtag now. Guys, we're 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 done. We're done. They finally did it. They did what they said they were gonna do, and they finally made the lobby codes. What this means is no more A button simulator for me. Cause one of the things I've had to deal with for years is spending anywhere from 15 to 30 plus minutes having to add people prior to playing a game of Splatoon 3 with my audience when streaming. And you might think, oh, that's, that's not that bad. And I, I agree with you until I have to do it again and again and again and again and again and yeah, you get the point, you get the point. The longer I stream, the more I still have to do it. So you might think, what's the solution? Well, what they finally did is you'll be able to, instead of actually adding people, simply press the plus button and be able to type on in a code to join people. What this means is that you can just play with people without having them added on your friends list. Yippee. This really does change the game. What this is gonna do for the community as a whole is allow anybody and everybody not only to do private battles, but also be able to do tournaments with ease. Because what this means is if you have a tournament organizer, let's say if the tournament is big or small, you don't have to worry about adding everybody that you need to play with. Or if you're, let's say, playing in the tournament, you don't have to add the other team's captain. Although adding a friend code can still be used so you can easily hop into a PB. This does save some time. It is confirmed to also be added for Salmon Run, which is also nice because you can also play Salmon Run with your friends, easy peasy lemon squeezy like this. I'm not the biggest Splatoon channel out there anyway. I, I know there are channels that are bigger than mine. People that will probably need like an hour to add people, probably more. And you know what happens? You end up running out of space. The Switch can only hold 300 people. Now, people could stream to their heart's content and just play the video game for all four hours of their stream. Instead of having it be like 30% adding people and 70% playing the game. It's a significant game changer that's going to improve the experience for the community as a whole. We always knew it was coming. It was in the developer diaries and it was also on Nintendo's website, like, like right here. But when you scroll on down, you see more stuff we already know, like ghosts and the ghosts of teammates. But eventually, oh, you, you get to something a little new. You get to something called Future Update Connect with Keywords. And they say a notification channel will be added in a post-launch update. Simply put in a general keyword, like hashtag turf war squids or hashtag splat zones fans, to connect to a channel. This way, you'll be able to interact with ghosts of players who are using the same keyword. If many participants are in one channel, you may not be able to interact with all the ghosts. This would imply we might be able to have more than one lobby worth of players, which may imply that multiple groups of people could be able to play with each other at the same time. Kind of like the tournament style we see in Mario Kart 8 but I don't want to confirm this until we can see it for ourselves. Last thing I want to do is imply we can all have lobbies together and then be, be wrong about that, <laughs> but I'm leaving this in just in case it's right. You want to know a Nintendo game that got this system first? Kirby's Dream Buffet. Not a joke, not a joke. The goofy little Kirby game actually did get this, this setup first. <laughs> If you go on Kirby's Dream Buffet, and you walk straight up to the middle of the map here, you can find out that there's always been lobby codes. All you do is you go online, and you say, Hey! I want a game with my pals! You go to Password Match, you type in the password, we could type in anything. We could type in Splatoon 3, this is what I did when I used to stream this game. And then bada bing bada boom, the game will then connect you up with anybody that has the code Splatoon 3. Assuming the lobby system is robust like this, it should really mean the end of any issues playing Splatoon 3 with people you don't have at it. So fingers crossed this changes everything in a positive manner. I'm really hopeful. I think this could be a step in the right direction by a long shot. And uh, the comments on the tweet are people really losing their minds in a good way? <laughs>
I saw, I, I saw like, there's definitely, there's, it, it's just, you see, there's thank yous, there's cool shades. And I know it's a thing that was pre-established and pre-planned by Nintendo, but it is a good step in the right direction for Splatoon 3 in general. I mean, Splatoon 3 is awesome. And doing things like this just means that people have more time to play the game, more time to experiment with a variety of weapons, and keep pushing the game further. Because the more people that play the game, the more we can discuss the game and see it continue to grow. Which also lets us play with the meta and run away from things that people think are unbeatable. So yeah, it's, it's, re it's really good. Thank you for listening to me ramble about this, and I hope to see you in not only my own PBs, but in other people's PBs too. Cause like, hey, you could literally just put a hashtag code on like Twitter and play with friends whenever. You don't even need to have a stream. Literally anybody can make a PB with their friends or people online anytime now. That's pretty neat. I'm sure people will use that. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good one.